I'm going to show you step by step on how you can set up a Ledger wallet. So the first thing that you'll want to do is head over to Ledger's official website to download Ledger Live. So what you'll want to do is go over here to app and services and then click on Ledger Live. Then what you're going to do is hover over here where it says download the app, click on it and then download it for whichever device that you're using. So for myself, I'm going to download it on a Mac and we'll get started. So after I download, I'm going to install it. And once I install it, I'll come back to this video. Okay, so I've just installed it. And what I'm going to do is click on get started. And now I'm going to check this box and click on enter ledger app. And for myself, I'm going to use a nano s to show the setup process, but the process will be the same for either device. So I'm just going to click on nano s. Now as we're setting up a new device, I'll click over here on this picture, which is next to first time using your nano s. And when I do, this pop-up message will come up over here and you can read it for yourself, but you'll basically want to go through all of it. And then after we'll click on let's do this. Now, in order to set up your ledger, what you'll need is a pen and a piece of paper to write down the seed phrase on. Make sure that you don't share that seed phrase with anyone who you don't trust and make sure that you store your seed phrase in a very secure location. So now that you understand that, I'm going to click on OK, I'm ready. OK, so I'm now presented with this warning message over here and it's basically saying that you need to be careful and please follow each step I understand so I got it I'm now going to plug in my nano and press the right button which is this over here until I see set up as a new device I'm then going to press both buttons simultaneously I'm now going to choose my pen I'll press the two buttons together again I'm just going to enter in a random pin just for the purpose of this video. I'm now going to be presented with 24 words. These are what I'll need to write down. I'm going to pause the video and do that right now. Okay, so I've just written them down. I'll now need to confirm these 24 words that I've just written down. It'll basically give you four word options for each of the 24 words. Just scroll through them and select which one fits your recovery seed phrase. So I'll pause the video and do that right now. Okay, so I've now just verified my recovery seed phrase. Now that the device is set up, I'm going to go to the Ledger app and then click on recovery phrase. And I'm done with all of this. Yes, I've written it down. Next step. And yes, I've confirmed it. Next step. And yes, I will hide my recovery phrase. Okay, I'm done. So pretty much that is that. Now it's going to ask me for a quiz. So let's take the quiz. And as a Ledger user, my crypto is stored on the blockchain. Okay, next question. If my recovery seed phrase is no longer secure or private, my crypto is no longer safe and I need to transfer them to a secure place. Yes. And next question. When I connect my nano to the ledger app my private key is still offline so there we go we're going to now click on finish quiz and there we are here we can proceed to the next step so next step and we're going to do a genuine check on the device and click that Okay, so what I'm going to now need to do is press both buttons at the top to allow Ledger Manager on my device. So I will do that and we are loading. And after that, it's all good. So I can now continue. So I'm going to click on continue. And pretty much that's how we set up our Ledger wallet. Now, in order to start sending coins over to your Ledger, you'll first need to install the application of that coin. In order to do this, I'm going to click on Add account and then we're going to select the coin you'd like to add from the drop down menu so let's just say I'm interested in Bitcoin so I'll select that and click on continue and now you can see the app is being installed on my ledger I'll now need to open up the app so I'll press both buttons at the top and when I do it'll give me the different options to add a wallet onto it now it's going to take a little bit of time to sync so just wait for that by default it'll give you a native segwit address but if you wanted another one you'll want to click on this toggle switch over here and then add in whichever one that you want so example legacy 
SegWit, or Taproot. And if you're interested in either one of these, then just click on Add Account. And pretty much it, that's how you can add a coin onto your Ledger wallet. Again, the process can be done for any Ledger wallet and any coin that you're interested in adding onto that Ledger wallet.